Hello everyone, this is Astin and I've got a treat for you today. Um, joining me is... Jess. <laughs> um, I'm also known as Lenore Lurks Online. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to help out today. Cause and hopefully you're not really loud this time. I know. We've actually, uh, we've sort of started playing what we're going to show you now, which is Scott Pilgrim. Um, and because... We haven't used this, uh, what is it called? Recording software. Mm -hmm. I'm recording from Fraps through Instant DVD Recorder using the DivX component of being able to see the footage as you're playing. So it's, uh, it's a kind of, I don't know, I don't know if I have the Dazzle plugged in properly or if, I don't know what's going on, but it might seem a bit fuzzy, but at least it's better than the last video that yeah, we did. Yeah, the last video because we want to take you through a couple of things with this game, like um, a few of the controls and the different sort of game options and things like that. And we realised once we played back what we'd recorded, it was so fuzzy, you couldn't read anything. And the bottom was chopped off. Yeah, the bottom was chopped <laughs> off the video. So, Piggy. yeah, I'm going to give this round two. Um, and that's right, winners don't eat meat. Yeah. We only eat chicken and fish. <laughs> so there's Ramona again with her bouncy breasts. <laughs> and don't tell me this is a love story. Oh no. Oh. Psychedelic hearts. Scott Pilgrim is in love with your mum. <laughs> yeah, mum. <laughs> Ramona Flowers, my mistake. <laughs> but he's going to get his ass kicked to win her heart. Doesn't it sound like a Quentin Tarantino film that I've ever seen? I'm going to say I'm all tangled up. I am all tangled you up. You are all tangled up. <laughs> what am I tangled up on? Oh. You alright? Who knows? I think if I do this, this should fix it. Okay. Okay. I think I'm okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just like making all weird noises. I'm not doing anything <laughs> sus. Okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. So we're going to show you the options just so that you guys have a bit of an understanding of how the game works. So this is take two. We've already gone through this. But anyway, heart points operate as your health. Um, you start with 100, and when you get to zero, you lose your life. Yeah. And we cry. Yeah. Pitch and cries. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's really handy playing this game with uh, multiple people because uh, you can actually drive your partner, I suppose, yeah. um, in the game. Just, yeah. yeah, if you're just playing by yourself, good luck to you. <laughs> um, um, probably going to be going through a lot of nights uh, playing air supplies all by myself because she's so frustrated at being single and not having anyone to play Scott Pilgrim vs. the world with. Anyway, um, money is constituted by the little coins that you can pick up which can be used to buy food and items in stores, as that description says. Um, basically you get status upgrades and... Yeah, you can get all the yeah. Being very materialistic and being consumerist. And yeah, it's actually an achievement if you get every single food item in the game, you get an achievement. So you have to do the opposite of what the biggest loser creatures and instead of dieting, you have to eat everything you see. Which is, reminds me of a show that I saw in Japan, but that's another story. Um, Jess, you can introduce gut points. Alright, oh, okay. Uh, gut points. See, I get so confused with all these gut points. Um, it just and it's not how big your gut is. No. Um, ability to regain uh, consciousness when knocked out. When you get up, some gut points are converted into heart points. You can also uh, use gut points to perform a super attack or to call knives for help. So that's a fancy to do with um, cool and it's a bit different for each character. Yeah, it's distracting. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, so it uses your special moves. Um, but it also, if your HP reaches zero, yeah, um, it's yeah. 
mm. up points to revive you. To revive you automatically, which is handy, but yeah, then it moves like special attacks. Yeah. Well, Jess doesn't know anything about this because she just button, me, button but mashes. Uh, yeah. And she presses the start button and pauses the game right when I'm about to connect a punch to someone. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good at that. Um. Um, well, we just won't talk about the Dynasty Warriors. Oh my god, oh I need to look at the map. Oh, oh shit, Jess just died. Oh, look, seriously, me and Dynasty Warriors? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's another game that we'll probably let's play for you eventually. But anyway, fast attacks and strong attacks, there's no real difference. Um, X and Y button, pretty much, if you button mash your sure um, You'll get there eventually. You'll get there eventually, that's right. Um, super attack is right bumper, which is a special attack. Which, Ramona's the only one that has a special item that she uses to special attack. She uses her bag, I think. Um, everyone else... Actually, I'm not sure about Scott. I might lie. It might be lying because I haven't seen Scott's. I think... What's his name? Stills. Yeah, Stills has like a big shockwave thing. I don't know what I don't think... Have we played play Stills yet? Stills, yeah. I've played Stills. Yeah. <laughs> Just does have a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> like a goldfish. Yeah. <laughs> in, in the zone is if you knock out five enemies consecutively without being hit, you get boost of speed in a short period of time, which is pretty handy. Except on levels where you can fall off the sides and have near, really narrow paths. Yeah, um, which happens. There's a lot of uh, levels which have sort of holes in the ground or whatever. And especially there's one much, much later on, like you get final level. Oh yeah, like yeah, which is really annoying. And if you just be running along and you can't stop yourself, you basically just fall off the floor. You try and jump to stop yourself, and you end up jumping further into the hole. Yeah. Oh my god, that twins level with those jumping over the traps. Oh. It's just horrible. Yeah, super. You're going to be in for a treat, guys. <laughs> um, taunt. You can intimidate the enemies. We don't really use that. I've never really done it. Yeah, I don't think I have either. Nice, we've done quite a bit. Um, her moves are different for each character, and there's also a special character you can unlock, which is her father from the comics, who does a move like Santet Stukin from Final Fantasy series, which kills everything instantly. Cheer up, we can't get to work because our positioning is just bad, it's really hard to position yourself in this game. Yeah, the controls are a bit dodgy, like that. Really Just like buying a car from Reno's. Um, <laughs> lend money. Uh, you just, in, when you're in a shop, you can press B and lend, lend some money to another character if they're broke. But I'm a tight ass and I don't lend money to my yeah. friends, so no help, no help no. from me at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> life taker, if you want to be cheap and you die and lose all your lives, you can go up to someone that's alive and steal their life by pressing B if you're a ghost. And I do like to Jess a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although last time I was the one that was dying all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Reanimate if someone dies. Yeah, you this is really handy. You can look really cute and encourage them to get up with your anime eyes. And That's why you no know, two player or more than that is awesome. Because you'll need this a lot. It really, really helps you out. <laughs> Although it looks like Scott's biting his nails there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the other one, I don't think we've ever got to do. Yeah, you need four players to see the golf attack, I think. Yeah. It's a shame. Right. You can get experience points for hitting enemies, not killing them. Mm. And you level up. And how many levels are there? 16. Yeah, that's right. 16 levels. And the different characters tend to... They, they appear to level up at different rates. Because, yeah, it's, it's really odd like that. Yeah. But each um, character, they all have the same movesets for most of their levels. Um, Leveling up doesn't do anything except for give extra moves. Um, yeah. All the characters have pretty much the same movesets except for the last two, which are specific to them. And Ramona, Ramona's first attack that she starts with, she can pull a brick out of the bag. So taking, a, taking a brick off the clothes wall. <laughs> and shopping, you get to go up to that. Oh, she looks like Jess. I don't have brown hair anymore. 
Um, that's that chick out of the movie that's like, Scott Lee Pilgrim. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can go and buy stuff from her. And accessories uh, improve your achievements. So that's always good to buy accessories. Yes, yeah. Link. Now, just going to introduce the character attributes. Okay, so we've got defense here. Uh, when you increase defense, your character takes less damage from hits and can absorb more hits before being stunned. And you do get stunned a lot in this game. Um, it's uh, with this value also increases the maximum amount of heart points, so it's pretty handy. Uh, the other one is speed, so obviously it affects your walking speed and running speed. Um, Just don't boost it too high. Yeah, don't boost it too high because you're always because the controls are already a little bit hard to like, to use anyway. Especially the males. It's really odd, and if you get too much speed up, then um, you'll probably end up falling into holes and falling off, you know, ledges and whatever all the time, which is a bit frustrating. Yes. Uh, willpower. This value increases the maximum amount of gut points, which is really handy. Um, it also makes super attacks more powerful. So that's Just a, when you want to pull a Goku do a Kamehameha. Yeah, exactly. So, and then the other one is strength, which is also really awesome. Uh, yes. Just this value affects the power of attacks and throws. The, the greater the number, the stronger your attacks and throws become. It also increases the probability of inflicting a critical hit. It's basically the cheap way to get more levels then your partner is to build your strength up and then you want your player to play with this and level up. I think at one point just was five levels higher than I was. Yeah, that because of that strength. Yeah. Okay, so interactive objects. You can punch or kick objects. Um, you can pick them up and throw them or use them as bats. Um, strike with them. Yeah. You end up doing that a lot even if you don't. Want to. <laughs> Even with your partner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throwing objects, you can throw objects, you can throw people. Um, catching, usually uh, my character tends to try and catch with its head and as a result um, takes damage. So yeah. <laughs> don't don't try and um, learn a life lesson from me about catching objects because you're not going to get anywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> unless yeah. you want to end up in the hospital ward <laughs> with a, um, a bandage around your head. Really bad hand eye thing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah, and this stuff, um, I don't think we've unlocked any of this. No, we haven't unlocked the survival I horror or boss rush yet, but we're getting there, we're trying. We'll turn back to the start. Okay, so just for you guys, so that you're aware, this is all the controls for this game. Um, yeah, so we're playing on the Xbox. Oops, wrong button. We're playing on the Xbox 360. Um, this is also available on the PlayStation 3 network. Um, but we're just going to take you through and play through on the Xbox 360. I don't have a PlayStation 3 at the moment. So then story mode, rough and tough. Do we have to? Because we're not pussies. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Maybe just. <Jess. laughs> <laughs> Alright, I have to. You, you're going to see my game tag. Um, Alright, so we're going to Oh, maybe it'll tell you to remove the membership thing. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, can't sign in. Oh. Oh, yeah, that, it always does that. Um, so, I'm going to be Scott. Yeah, and Ramona. Just so that we're the two lovebirds. And just because I'm a homosexual, I'm going to be pink. Well, I don't know if it's raining anymore, so I don't know if it's going to be blue. Oh, look. I'll, I'll go pink too. How about that? Gay power! <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Just we did a recording before and we got to the end of the first level, so I'm um, like, oh, let's do this. Let's go to level two, but no, we have to do level one again. Yeah. So, snowy Toronto, don't be late for the big show. Mm -hmm. Oh, I already got punched. I'm oh, dead. Oh, already dead. How did that happen? Oh, because we're not at full life. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to say that as much either. Okay. <laughs> I think how you go. 
Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs>